in 2021, the decentralized finance, or DeFi for short, has made a massive rebound and become one of the most popular topics in the financial sector. Having started the year at 21.5 billion, the total value locked, or TVL, increased more than 10 times, reaching 284 billion by mid-November. What's DeFi, you may ask? Well, today we'll deep dive into some of the terminology and concepts behind DeFi and provide some practical examples. Enjoy. So, as I said, DeFi is decentralized finance. Before it was introduced, there was centralized finance, or CFI for short, which was the standard for trading cryptos. And before CFI, there was traditional finance, or TreadFi. Where TreadFi had intermediaries processing your financial transactions, CFI had a central organization processing your crypto or digital asset transactions. We will now explain the differences between CFI and DeFi. Currently, DeFi has a stronghold over the cryptocurrency industry. In centralized finance, the system is governed by centralized exchanges or CEX. CEX is a place where you can buy or sell your crypto on demand. Both CEX and traditional exchanges simplify trade across millions of accounts, but they have profoundly different setups. Counter to traditional financial markets or TreadFi, where various institu institutions such as exchanges, brokers, and banks provide the infrastructure to minimize risk, a centralized crypto exchange is usually a combination of all of these institutions in one entity in the cryptocurrency market. So using a traditional cryptocurrency exchange, for example, Binance, Kraken, there's FTX or Coinbase, users send funds, either fiat or crypto, to the exchange to manage them within an internal account. The funds are managed by the special operations of the exchange office and it means that you do not have uh, private keys that gives you access to your wallet. Centralized exchanges are usually easy to use and suitable for beginners. Also, they often have excellent liquidity because many users simultaneously purchase a specific asset when demand is high. Did you know each CEX has their own token? like BNB for Binance, KRKN for Kraken, and FTT for FTX. And there is actually a utility for each token. For example, you can use the FTT token as collateral on FTX. Or in the case of BNB, it can be used to pay your trading fees on Binance. And in so doing, you will be able to get a discount on the trading fees. Where can you buy these tokens, you ask? We will come to that shortly. But did you know Stoic has been trading in and out of BNB and is actually still a holder during different periods of the market? So you ask where you can buy CEX tokens or how can I benefit from the growth of these exchanges? Well, each centralized exchange identifies which coins they list for trading or how much fees you need to pay to trade with their exchange. That is to say, you don't own your crypto when buying or selling via a centralized exchange. Using CFI, users transfer their risk to the exchanges. Therefore, exchanges are in charge of keeping users' funds safe. Did I mention not all tokens are listed on all exchanges? And some can only be found on a DEX. For example, Kraken, KRKN, can only be bought through the DEX called PancakeSwap. More on what the DEX is later. Another important point to mention is that most CFI service providers tend to abide by the regulations set by the local government where they operate. These rules oblige centralized financial institutions such as exchanges and trading platforms to implement Know Your Customer or KYC and anti-money laundering processes. This point is crucial when comparing CFI and DeFi platforms. So on to DeFi. 
As I mentioned, the, a decentralized finance is committed to creating an ecosystem of open, unlicensed, and transparent financial services. DeFi started as a movement to recreate standard financial instru instruments on a decentralized infrastructure. It has rapidly expanded to power an array of entirely new products and markets. DeFi works on open source protocols running on censorship resistant and decentralized networks. And it's built on three main points, cryptography, blockchain, and smart contracts. The critical advantage of DeFi is the transparency provided by the very essence of blockchain technologies. Information about all trading operations, liquidity placement in pools, its withdrawals, and the total amount of funds locked in protocols is publicly available. The functioning of smart contracts practically excludes the human factor and the associated possibility of manipulation. Decentralized finance excludes the participation of mediators. Instead, utilizing smart contracts that allow the creation of trust protocols. Smart contracts are self-executing transactions that are program agreements between a buyer and a seller or two counterparties. As DeFi is a huge and growing space, one simple way is to break down how to research these projects. As DeFi is a huge and growing space, one simple way is to break down how to research these projects. I would start with going to a crypto data tracker and information service like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap and look at the tokens listed under DeFi. Here, you can research the different tokens and match them with the different blockchains. For example, Terra and Luna are gaining in popularity now and they have a growing DeFi ecosystem. You can do the same for other tokens or coins and segment them out into DEXs like PancakeSwap, Uniswap, or TerraSwap on the Terra network. Stable coins like USDT, USDC, BUSD, or even Magic Internet Money. Yep, that's a thing. Derivatives like PERP or PERP, uh, Perpetual Pools, TCR, which is uh, Tracer, MIR, Mirror, you can also look at insurance tokens like Sure, uh, Insured DeFi, and NXM, which stands for Nexus Mutual. Generic DeFi products typically emerge from the amalgamation of blockchains, open protocols, and digital assets with traditional financial structures. To start your journey into DeFi, you will need a wallet, which is similar to your bank account in TradFi. So what is a crypto wallet? It is just that, a place to store your cryptocurrency as well as a connector to interact with DeFi services on the web. This is some of the capabilities of Web 3.0. Metamask, more than 10 million downloads, is a popular web-based wallet for Ethereum, but they have since expanded to include other blockchains on their wallet. There are now more advanced web and mobile-based wallets like SafePal, that allows you to interact with various blockchains and store more than 20,000 tokens. SafePal have their own token, which is SFP, and it's also listed on a number of CEX and DEXs. As you can see, there are so many interesting coins with real utility. And if you believe in their business model, you can actually participate and benefit from their growth. However, you will need to understand which CEX or DEX they are listed on and how to purchase them. As you will see in our next part, setting up a wallet is just the start. Stoic provides you with a simple entry into this fantastic new technology, automatically building a portfolio of the top altcoins and actively managing it to provide exceptional outperformance. Click on the link below to try it out with a 10% discount of your first year.